Hey guys, so went to go edit the video and all of my video footage of me assembling the garden cart has disappeared. Who knows why? But I am going to give you a review of what I think after I put it together of uh, the quality of the product and uh, you know kind of what I think on that. So really sorry about you not getting me re getting to watch me assemble it. It was very simple um, to assemble. Um, the, the instructions were great. So, you know, it was, it was an easy assembly, but I lost all that footage. So you don't get to see that, but you do get to see what I think about it after I assembled it. So <laughs> thank you for watching. Okay, so the only thing that I can find that I don't particularly like how this went together is the basket is supposed to, those little hooks are supposed to hook on this back bar and it doesn't want to sit right. So that may just take some fiddling. I did have an extra piece. Don't know where that goes. <laughs> but other than that, uh, it went together very easily and uh, I think it's pretty sturdy and... Uh, I think I'm going to like it. So we're just going to have to see if this will help me be able to garden um, with my broken foot. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll be a super comfortable little garden chair and I would definitely buy it again. So I would recommend it. Again, I will put the link down below. Let me know if you have one of these or something similar to it and if you actually really like it and you've used it quite a bit. Uh, I know the big tires are going to be really nice because um our ground is obviously extremely uneven and all of those things and hopefully eventually we will be able to get them evened up but uh i foresee the next few years of it being uneven <laughs> so this should make it a lot easier i also think that my grandkids will love this thing to be able to pull it around and pull each other around that is actually probably a bonus of the garden cart um this part underneath there's not much space in it but it would definitely hold scissors and clippers and all of those kinds of things the basket is fairly good size but like i said i don't like how it's hooked on it doesn't seem super stable um so that thing i may have to tweak a little bit um the the wheels um definitely we need to, i need to get some air in them so that's going to have to happen and uh, but they're nice and big and fat and chunky and seem fairly well made um, the handle looks uh, to be very uh, comfortable in the hand and all of those things and it's a nice big um, big tractor seat so that I absolutely love and if it would have come in turquoise I would have gotten turquoise and that's probably the only thing that I don't like about it so far I will let you know and keep you updated on what I think but as of right now, I think this is a good purchase and I don't regret it. So thank you guys so much for watching the build. Let me know if you get one of these or if you have one of these. Like. Hey guys, if you like the content that you're seeing, if you uh, have already subscribed, thank you so much. I super appreciate your support. If you have not, please consider subscribing um, so that you can follow along the journey. I will be building my homestead here in Northern Idaho. I have 73 acres uh, overlooking a gorgeous lake and I am super grateful that I get to live here every day and I hope that you will come along with me as I build my home and my barn and all of the other things that we have going on here. And I think that you'll like uh, meeting my friends that come and help and let me know if you're doing something like this. Uh, also, if you've enjoyed this video, I have another video for you right here. See you there.